Welcome to week nine, day four of the Salvation City Church Peace with God course. I'm Joel Maylett, senior leader of Salvation City Church. Let's begin with our memory verse found in John chapter 13, verses 34 and 35. This verse speaks to God's love, which will be the focus of our lesson this week. John chapter 13, verses 34 and 35. A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, all men will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. There is an important connection in many passages of scripture concerning God's love, whether his love for us or our love for him. When the love of God is written of, the scriptures often point to the necessary expression of our love for each other. Receiving God's love, loving him in return, and extending that love to others is all seen as one unified experience. You cannot love God without loving people, and you cannot truly love people without loving God. Consider a few additional passages that seamlessly transition from God's love being exchanged between us and him into his love being poured out from us to those around us. In Matthew chapter 22, verses 37 through 39, Jesus tells us what the greatest command in all of scriptures is. He says this, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. But then he immediately follows up by saying, the second commandment is just like it or just as important. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Let's hear from John the Beloved again. In 1 John chapter 4, verse 7, John writes, Let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone who loves is born of God and knows God. So, according to this verse, being born of God means to love. And to love means to love not just God, but our fellow man. We also read in 1 John that whoever keeps God's word, truly the love of God is perfected in him. Whoever says they abide in God ought to walk just as he walked, for he who loves his brother abides in the light. We see again the connection of God's love in us that is then extended towards others within just a few verses. Taking this even further, in Matthew chapter 25, Jesus instructs us that when we love and serve the least of all people, we are in fact loving and serving Him. We see that loving God and loving others is inseparable. We must realize that stepping into a loving relationship with God means loving all men at all times just like he does. Now, it's easy to love those who are lovable, but it takes the supernatural power of God's love to enable us to love those who we are prone to hate, the unlovable. These are the murderers, the thieves, the family member who abused you, the one who cheated you, the one who even cut you off on the highway today. Trust me, it is impossible to love these people out of your own strength, your own understanding, and of course, your own desire. It is a supernatural work of God's love in your heart to begin to have compassion, mercy, forgiveness, and love towards those especially who do not deserve it. Always remember, when you came to Christ, for his forgiveness, life, and love, you did not deserve it either. So how do we show this kind of love to others? Tomorrow, we will look at what we call the love chapter to understand this more fully. But let's close in prayer for today. I want to specifically pray for you that you may be able to love those who are difficult to love in order that you may be complete and whole in God's love. Let's pray. Father, I pray that the love of God that's in us, we would not selfishly hold on to it, but rather give it freely. Lord, as we learn 
of your love to us and we learn how to receive it and to be loved by God, I pray, Lord, that it would easily overflow into the action of loving others, especially those who are difficult to love. God, I pray for the listener right now. I pray, God, that you would reveal people in their life that feel like a thorn in their side, people who easily irritate them and frustrate them, people who they struggle to love. I pray, God, that you would transform their minds to not seek to love them as brothers, the phileo kind of love, but allow them to love them with the agape, unconditional love of God that doesn't look at their ability to earn or deserve love, but simply love them because of God's love that is in their heart. I pray that you would do this supernatural work in their hearts today and that they would learn to love and serve others unconditionally, that they would live out this impossible supernatural love of God to those around them. In Jesus' name, amen.